Gemma Stevens, one of Britain's top event riders, has just done something completely different. You've just ridden your first puissance. Gemma, what was it like? Absolutely crazy, honestly. Or like you just said to me, <laughs> I've been dreaming about puissance balls for the last two weeks. And um, yeah, absolute crazy thing to do, really. Um, I'm so, I'm really honoured to be here. He's a fantastic horse. I'm so lucky to have secured the ride with the, the new Dime Syndicate. Um, so exciting. The owners came to watch him tonight and they're all so happy to be here. And it's such an experience going in that arena. It is packed and the atmosphere is like unbelievable. <laughs> so yeah, it was uh, certainly an experience. <laughs> and what did it feel like clearing the wall the first time? Yeah, I was honestly just unbelievably relieved. Um, I sort of, all I really wanted to do was jump it the first round, get through the first round, and then, to be honest with you, I had no expectations. I've not done this before. The horse is actually really green, although he's got loads of jump, yeah. and he can do it. He's really green. He's only a 10-year-old horse, and um, he's only jumped the ball once before at a show, and this atmosphere is unbelievable. So. I honestly had no expectations, but just to have been here and done it, and now all I want to do is have another go. <laughs> <laughs> and how have you been preparing for something like this? Yeah, um, so it's quite, it's quite hard to prepare. Um, jumping big jumps in cold blood is, is not that easy, um, but Shirley Light, who um, owned Dime Bar before, and still actually owns a share in him, has been unbelievable. Um, she built a makeshift wall in her indoor, and we practiced and um, you know I jumped quite big enough um, and then we went up to Paul Gaff's and had another practice at his um, and then we actually just jumped it one more time at the beginning of this week not quite so big um, just to give him confidence but um, yeah it's just um, it's hard to practice and um, it's hard to visualize it like I do a lot of visualizing and it's so hard to visualize it um, and when you come off the corner to come to it it just looks ridiculous <laughs> ridiculous um but yeah no um yeah it's, it's another thing to have done and why not well absolutely and in terms of rider frighteners how would that compare to something like babington's vicarage v yeah um obviously very very different um in so many ways but it is scary coming to it you know it is above your head um you probably don't have the same quite the same fear factor but um, you do feel like the atmosphere is very intense and everyone's like got their eyes on you you know whereas when you're galloping cross country you're very much um, you know out on the cross country and and I wouldn't come to the vicarage fee on anything I didn't trust so <laughs> I think it's all relative to the horse and the situation but yeah both is pretty scary <laughs> and like you said now you're keen to give it a go we're going to see you back at more of these puissances do you think in the future absolutely why not I've got to keep it up for the girls right I was the only girl here Absolutely. got to keep it up <laughs> <laughs> oh huge well done Gemma Thank you.